<laughs> um, we're getting there. I am so full. Good morning everyone and welcome back. It's the 5th of August. Um, I'm going to start off immediately with a little tip for you. And um, If you do what we did and do a full park day at Universal Studios, do not <laughs> select to do Animal Kingdom the next day because it's the earliest of the parks uh, to get up for. So yes, it's quarter past, just nearly 20 past seven and we're off to the Magic Kingdom. So come along for the fun. I stand corrected. <laughs> I'm in Animal Kingdom. That's how tired I am. Let's go see Animal Kingdom. Except that now it's time for this to go in the bin. If you watched yesterday's vlog, Ellie's beloved shoes broke. I think it's been a long time coming <laughs> with all the rain we've had. We made it. Um, from our hotel, this is definitely the longest park to get to. It's about a 20 minute bus ride. It's also the most humid of the park, so if my camera keeps steaming up, that is why. Um, our usual plan of action is to go straight to uh, Mount Everest because the line is so, so short at the start of the day. When we were last here, you'd have seen that we could just choose whichever seat we wanted. So we've got in slightly later because obviously we're very tired. Um, so we weren't in for half seven, which is when extra time starts for uh, hotel guests. Um, but we are here and it's bang on eight o'clock now and we're just getting up to Asia. So it'll be very interesting to see how busy it is. I doubt at this time there'll be anything more than a 10 minute wait. So if you're a thrill seeker, I definitely say put Mount Everest at the top of your list of first things to do at the Animal Kingdom each day. much more fun in the back. I was good. I tried so hard to put my hand up. To be fair, it went up a little bit. Yeah. Which is more than it ever has. And I look right. happier yeah. in the photo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so we're gonna try and like conserve our feet a little bit and actually do this park wisely today. We were all over the place last time, so we're working our way around. So we're gonna go back to Africa now, pick up a cup of water, because it's very humid in this park, you've gotta stay hydrated. And then we're gonna go see the animals, and it means we'll get to do the safari in the morning. We did quite late in the day last time, so might see a few more. Uh -huh. Who are you most looking forward to seeing? Lion. I think I'm looking forward to the elephants. Huh. So, we almost had a bit of a disaster. I was being that person taking a photo of my muffin and nearly dropped it on the floor. So that's what it's, oh, how is it? Ellie's going straight in. Good. Gone for the 50th anniversary blueberry muffin. Um, it looks like it's got a nice crumbly top on it. At the moment I'm mostly getting sugar, but that's because I'm going for the top, so feedback once I've dug into it. Look how cute this is. The confetti like goes all the way through. I'd call that more a birthday cake sponge than a blueberry muffin, but 
all the same. It's very tasty. It's just maybe not a blueberry muffin. If you want a blueberry muffin, I know that they're incredible at the Starbucks here. It has like a cinnamony flavor to it as well and it's served warm. Um, how do you think that compares to the Starbucks one? Starbucks one's better. Mm, yeah. But this looks pretty, but I'd, I'd just call that a birthday cake sponge. Ooh, I am full after that. I forgot to add, it was 4 25 for that. So a really, I'd say really reasonable snack slash breakfast that you could have. Uh, anyway, we are now off to the safari. overly revolutionary tip but definitely if you can do that early in the morning we're saying you did see a lot more animals things like the lions which I you rarely see and they were even moving around weren't they and like probably we saw everything that we'd already seen before but there was more of them and they were just more active so yeah I was happy to see a real life now yeah and the real life Simba and um, the yeah. male lion that we saw in the in the pride rocks was the lion that they used as the model for the live action, live action version of the Lion King. Now we've never done the Gorilla Falls Trail, Gorilla Trail, Gorilla Falls Trail. Um, so we're gonna do it now. And again, it's the morning, so what better time to do it? Just, yeah. Oh, I think this is gonna be I fun. <laughs> recommend also apologies if the sound quality picture quality isn't as good for the next five ten minutes who forgot to charge the camera batteries this guy um that was so good would definitely recommend particularly enjoyed the gorillas and the cast members here are amazing aren't they, they so really well. we were asking like oh who's your favorite gorilla and she's telling us all about grace uh, who's like three but because she's grown up with like a really bossy dad and older brothers she's like trying to be like one of the male gorillas and stuff and just really spunky and fun and um, also learned so I adored the season on Disney Plus which was about um, all the animals here at Animal Kingdom and then some over at Epcot and we've just found out there's gonna be a season two so excited and actually we saw them filming a little bit of it for it while we were out on the safari so if you're watching season two check out for me and Ellie in the background yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things about the Magic Kingdom is just all the Animal Kingdom. I keep saying that. 
the animal kingdom and it's all the extra bits that are going on and like we just came out of the loo and um there was those performers and then it went into a full-on dance along which was so much fun i am so hot and sweaty now but it was worth it <laughs> So we came to Pongu Pongu for the Night Blossom. I say we, controversially, I don't actually like the Night Blossom. I find it a bit too sweet, but Ellie has a gone for it. What do you think? As good as you remember? Ellie, this is the first time we've both gone for the honey chicken and um, I got mine with a cup of water. This is $14.90, you get steamed rice, you get the honey chicken with a few veggies. I'm not sure what this one is. What do you think, Ellie? Like a pear? I don't know. It looks like a yellow cordette. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I'm going to be honest, that was okay. Um, I seem to recall that last time I ate here as well. I just, it, it wasn't horrible. Was it the best meal of my life? Absolutely not. Can my local Chinese takeaway do a better version of that? Yes, they can. I think I can do a better version of that. <laughs> it was just a bit like, like it was, it was just okay. It didn't have loads of flavor and the um, batter around the chicken was quite soft. I think it should have been crunchier. As I said, it was okay. It wasn't bad. But anyway, we were thinking about doing Kali River Rapids, but we've changed our minds because we don't feel like getting soaked on a ride, which could well happen. Um, so we're going to head back to the resort now, um, freshen up, have a shower, uh, and then head on to Disney Springs for a bit of retail therapy before, I don't know if I'm excited or terrified, um, we're going to feed just cream. Um, Ellie is determined that we're going to get the kitchen sink, which I will add is for four people. Yeah. And this is American portions as well. Yeah, but, I mean, you've got to. You're here, and we didn't do it last time because it was closed. There's a sign that you've just got to go for it. And like I said, you're paying for it. If you don't get it, you yeah. down your mouth, and that's fine. Um, also, as a side note, people that do come or have come for a while, they no longer do the shipping to your hotel. So I just bought a very heavy Pandora candle, which I'm very happy with. Yeah, so it used to be if you bought something in the Disney parks in one of their shops, they would take, send it free of charge back to your hotel for you. But that service is currently unavailable. Whether it's going to return or not, I don't know. Is it just another cut? Is it another perk lost? Who knows? Anyway, back to the resort. And you're back on the normal camera. Um, oh, what is that? 
There we go. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Maybe it accentuates the bags under my eyes. Ellie, are you ready for shopping and ice cream? When am I ever not ready? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what kind of a what kind of a wonderful evening does that sound like? Shopping and ice cream. We look forward to taking you along. Um, Levi's is a must today, isn't it? Oh yeah. I think I'm going to look in Levi's as well. Jeans shopping is um, one of my most hated forms of shopping, but I might give it a go. Right, it's half three. Let's get the bus and go. I want the ducky cocktail. Oh, we're not going to get the bus. We're going to get the boat. Oh. Yeah, that'll be much nicer. Yeah, the, oh, and yes, we're also going to go to the boathouse because we've seen on Instagram they do this little, I don't even know what type of cocktail it is, but it's in one of those like saucer glasses and it comes with a little rubber ducky. <laughs> That's what I want, that's what I want. Mate. We are a sucker for branding. <laughs> in some ways, I reckon it'd be cheaper because I, I wanted to get a duck in Hastings and there's also a duck shop in Brighton that I like as well. But they're like what? 20 quid, whereas like the cocktail Why might be what? want a duck? I want one for the bath. Just a little one. It's still, it's still a duck, isn't it? still a duck. <laughs> still company in the bath, isn't it? <laughs> so I think we've got a really fun night in store and then maybe, maybe, jelly rolls after. I desperately want to go. It depends. We're quite tired. It's quite a tiring day after. Maybe we'll end up doing it another night. My, well, my mind says no. My heart says yes. My mind's by like... saying no. Yeah. We'll see how we go. <laughs> we made it. What a bus journey. Okay, so we had to get the bus because there's lightning and thunderstorms in the area. Thankfully, not over us yet. Fingers crossed that may continue where we get the bus. Um, there's no like official line, so it's kind of free for all. We were definitely the first people there, and we very nearly didn't get on. Now, I hate to say it, I really hate to say it, but I'm gonna jump on the Gideon's bandwagon. I have said to Ellie, categorically not queuing an hour and a half for a cookie. So, we're gonna see if we can join the virtual line and then go do some shopping and then pick up a cookie. A later time it's like key lime pie or something that's their flavor of the flavor month. of the month which sounds quite cool it's there you can see the line before you see the shop so uh let's see how this virtual queue works so change of plan uh if you just look through there just about you can see the big old queue forming which is gideon's uh, it was going to be around a half hour wait and they didn't have a virtual queue line um we only have two and a half hours here so we're like well rather than queue for a cookie let's come to the boathouse for a drink and this is our view how stunning is that? And this little guy is what we came for. How cute. Cheers, Ellie. Look how good all these new figures outside Lego store are. Okay. So we've done quite a bit of shopping. Went into Levi's, spent a bit and found some nice pairs of jeans. There we go. Um, and then we popped into the World of Dreams store of Disney. World of Disney. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, huge disappointment. Um, we just struggled to find anything that we particularly liked, didn't we? There's lots of re repetition. Mm. Things that like we were here last time. We were here and that was like three years ago. So yeah. A bit, like, mm. And there's a lot of things that we can now buy in the UK and we're like, well, why would yeah. we like the whole buy it here? Range. Yeah, and the winning poo yeah. range. And then you were saying there's a lot of 50th as well, which we're neither of us that into either. So yeah. And and then, I would say the other thing is, I would say last time I came there was loads of homeware stuff, like tea towels, yes, blah, blah, blah. which is the stuff we like. And that's the thing that we're more into now, with homes of our own. Yeah. Um, so I, I would have wanted more like, oh, this tea towel versus this tea towel, or like this cooking pot. You know, but there it just was wasn't, lot. yeah. But we have 10% off a basin, so it would be rude not to. It's a real shame you can't smell what we can smell because, oh boy.
Okay, so when he brought this out, there's a whole can of whipped cream in there. Just whack the spoon in and, and go for it. Which way? This way? Yes. <laughs> I guess we could just go in with our little spoons. It's gonna go in your coat. Just, well, there is a whole can of whipped cream in there. You've got a strawberry scoop by the looks of it there. Okay, that, that doesn't look as touched the side really at all. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go for the brown one. It's like a little operation, isn't it? Uh-huh. Oh gosh. Oh, I've got mint. favourite part has actually been the peanut butter bits. I know I know you hate them. Um, but yeah, you got these little bowls, long spoon, a giant spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> so, <laughs> that's where we got to. A big old pool of melty cream. Apparently we did quite well for two people, so I'll take that. He probably does just say that to everyone, but you know, I'll take it. And um, for those of you wondering, I think it's $35. It was $35, eight scoops of ice cream, and then a whole can of whipped cream. Uh, eight scoops of ice cream, whole can of whipped cream, and every, all the toppings. I'd argue, if you were getting that for a family of four or more, that's a really reasonably sized size and price dessert um, so yeah maybe it's a bit much for two people but um, there's just been about five others have it here tonight so yeah I, I would definitely recommend and it's a great place to eat here too they do savour as well this hotel is absolutely stunning I wish I could turn the camera around and show you the pool but again I just don't feel appropriate <laughs> in doing that um, but yeah it's just gorgeous this is one of the hotels that I've seen a lot in vlogs actually and it's really nice to see it in person. It's not um, as big as I thought it would be but maybe that's at um, Beach Club perhaps. This is Yacht Club that we're in right now. Right, let's round up today. So what's been your favourite food of the day? Favourite food of the day. But you can't just say kitchen sink, you have to tell me which part of the kitchen sink. The strawberry. No, the mint chop chick I... No, not mint chop chick. Mint chop. <laughs> Mint chock chip. We were saying it's not actually been that good a food day today, but no. the, the kitchen sink kind of upped the game. For me, it was the peanut. I know it was the bit you wouldn't have liked, but well, that was quite good, wasn't it? If it was the bits you didn't like. Mm. Um, the peanut butter kind of, I think they were Snickers, weren't they? Mm. It was, yeah, it was really tasty. Favorite ride of the day? Flight Passage was the best this, this uh, holiday in terms of like, my glasses to, th to 3D glasses sometimes makes it a bit like out of focus. Oh, I don't think we told you the drama that happened on Flight of Passage. There was nearly oh, a fight. Oh yeah, there was nearly a fight. Um, with the, between a guest and a cast member, they were being really awful and out of line and one woman was refusing to get in her seat. Oh, it was bad. I think she delayed the whole ride for like the 100 people, whoever would have been on it at the time. You're in like she two chambers of eight, aren't you? And like, so it's like eight, eight and yeah. where her like three were there she kept coming around the corner she well she delayed the whole ride at the, yeah. by at least five minutes like it was ridiculous um anyway so flight of passage for you i think mm. for me it was probably mount everest when we're at the back what the first one <laughs> not the first <laughs> one so that slow. was that was a runaway that's train so um favorite moment when the birds flew over my head Oh yeah, we saw the bird show as well today. I really enjoyed that. I just think it very clever. It's a very good show. 
Mm. And they were really good presenters as well, they the were. two bird trainers. But my favourite moment was um, just when we got to Disney Springs and we were in the boathouse having our rubber ducky drinks. Oh yeah, that was good. Really enjoyed that, they were really tasty, I was looking forward to a chilled evening. Um, and that was exactly what we had. Um, so tomorrow we're off to Hollywood Studios. We're gonna make sure we get there for our, uh, the hotel opening time tomorrow because we missed it a little bit last time and we felt you miss out on quite a bit um, in doing that. So Hollywood Studios and then we've got Epcot in the afternoon. We're gonna go to Space 220 um, Lounge, not the restaurant, the lounge. And then we are off to the outlets for some more shopping because we haven't done enough for that today. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a good day tomorrow and we look forward to taking you with us. So as ever, thanks so much for watching and until next time, see you later. <laughs>